Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 35 in chapter 19. Chapter 19 is about heat, the first law of thermodynamics. So now we read the problem together. It tells us we have the ideal gas, right? The mole number is one mole. And then keyword, it, this gas is a mole automatic so circuit there. And the initial pressure, P1, is 180 amp. And then in three steps, uh, it moves in three steps. So first one, it tells us it is uh, moves at uh, vertically T1 to T2. So T1 to T2. At vertically, temperature changes from T1 to T2, given there. And then it uh, moves at a constant pressure, right, to reach T3. And then returns to the origin pressure by constant volumes. See? The first question asks you to plot this PV graph. So initially it is here, PV is given, but V1 we don't know, but we know it moves uh, vertically, it is a circle, right, to this uh, point. And then at this point, T2, V2, P2, and then it moves at a constant pressure back to this position. And then it moves at a constant volumes to the origin point. This is a tell us. Now, first the question looks like this P1, we can say it is 1 atm, right? 1 atm. But what is the volumes? We can get the function look like this one. Because this is ideal gas, so PV equal to nRT. So that makes V1 equal to nRT1 divided by P1, right? So in this function, you can see n is given, r is a constant, t1 is given, p1 is given. So easily you can get v1 around 50 liter, liter. So we write it there. Therefore, you can see we get a p1, v1, v1 at this point. Next one, if we want to plot this curve, where is the p2, v2? So we see. P2 and V2, so you need to find P2 and V2 there. How can you get it? As we can see, this one ideal gas law, PV equal to nRT. So we can write it as PV over T equal to n times R. N is a constant, R is a constant, so this part is constant. Agree? Yes. So that means initial state, P1, V1 over T1 equal to P2, V2 over T2. Agree? Yes. Therefore, if we, we can solve it. And also, we can get the relationship between the P1 and V1 in this adiabatical process. P1, V1, gamma equal to P2, V2, gamma. Right? This is v nerd in progress. Now, we did the calculation from the equation 1, equation 2 to get this function in previous problems. If you don't know, you can check out about my pro the videos 19 slash 54, how to get this function from these two functions. Now we get this, this it looks like this one. Next question, how you get gamma? As we say, gamma is a ratio for Cp over Cv. Cp equal to Cv plus R over Cv. So what is Cv? It tells us it is monoatomic gas. So you can check your textbook for this for monoatomic gas. It is 3R over 2. Therefore, you get a parameter gamma as 5 over 3. Now in this function, you can input V1, T1, T2, gamma. Get this answer at 0. Now P2 is 5 at 0, around 90. Liter. And then we still use the same equation, PV equal to nRT, so P2 becomes the nRT2 over V2, right? Then you get P2 at this one, 0.356 atm. You click this one. Now you get this point. So from this one initial position to the second position, this is at a vertical process. And then at the same pressure, it moves back to the 
volumes v1 right you plot it then at the same volumes it will come back to the origin point in this way you are done with plot the pv graph next one ask you to determine t3 so we just solve the p1 v1 t1 t2 v2 t2 now it looks like you need to find this one right but for this uh, third position you can say p3 just equal to p2 we get right we just did in progress this is p3 and v3 and v3 equal to v1 with origin position agree yes this is a position two right this is position three do you agree with this part yes so it looks like we know p2 and v3 we need to find t so easy right we can just use pv equal to nrt so p3 v3 equal to nr t3 so we can write the function for t3 as p3 v3 over nr and we know p3 equal to p2 v3 equal to v1 input these two numbers inside you get the answer there the next one asks you to find the change of internal energy work done by gas and heat added to gas for each of these three process Ooh, this is a big question but we can split in three process so first process is add a vertical process this part right the step the process work from the p1 v1 to p2 v2 this part as this part we learned we can straight forward to write down the internal energy changes from the 1 to 3 as a 3 over 2 nr dr t this one is so easy because the in internal energy changes equal to n cv dr t agree yes what is cv cv we call it is a 3 divided by 2 r 3 r over 2 now you can see in this function, n is given, r is a constant, t2 is given, t1 is given, so you get the answer there. The next question, you need to find the heat, the heat added, so that is q, right? And we know this is at a vertical process, so q equal to 0. Can you find the work done? sure because we know internal energy changes equal to q minus work so this part kills because it's zero so the work equal to negative internal energy change one two right then you get the answer there this is for the adiabatical process next one we look at the constant pressure process two two three right this from this position to this position now in this case still we know the temperature for t2 and t3 see t2 and t3 we find in progress therefore we still can write it as ncv delta t cv as the 3r over 2 right c3r over 2 therefore we can write it as this function you can see n is given r is a constant t3 is given at there t2 is given you input you just uh, input them inside get answer there right the next one we need to find the work done by the gas so as we know the work done is p times delta v you can see p is constant it is just equal to p2 it's constant but the volume changes from v2 to v3 so therefore we can write it as this one right the work done by the two to three mm -hmm. now the final we can write internal energy changes two three equal to the heat two three minus the work two three right therefore we can write function for the q two three as this one input the internal energy changes and the work you get answer there mm -hmm. the next the next one we need to write the function for constant volumes from two to three, two to three, or three to one, three to one, right? So in this one, you can see we can still write it as the um, 
internal energy changes, NCV delta T. And we know CV equal to 3R over 2. Therefore, we input N, T1, T3 inside, get answer there. The next one, can you find the work done by this process? Yes, because we know the work done by the gas is P delta V. In this case, delta V is zero because the volumes is constant, right? So zero. Now in this function, we can write internal energy changes equal to Q minus work. This term becomes zero. Therefore, we can get the Q as the internal energy changes 4730 joules. So now we are done with the third part. The next part, we need to calculate the change in internal energy work done by the gas and uh, the work by the whole complete circles. So this one is easy because we can see this is complete circle. So by definition, the internal energy change is equal to zero. zero. And then the work done, you can see the work done from the 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 1, add them together. And this is we did the calculation in previous. You add them together, get the answer there. And also, in this case, uh, you can get the Heat added by using Q, 1, 2 plus Q, 2, 3 plus Q, 3, 1, add them together, you get the answer there, then Q.